بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کریٹ اے ویلیو ایڈی ٹیکس فارمیٹ ان مائکرو سافٹ ایکسل دس ویلیو ایڈی ٹیکس فارمیٹ ول ہیلپ یو وائل یو ول بی گوئنگ ٹو سبمٹ یور ویڈ ریٹرن آن دا کا پورٹل آلسو یو کین یوز دس فارمیٹ ٹو ٹریک دا ویلیو ایڈی ٹیکس ڈیلی ٹرانزیکشنز ڈیلی اپڈیشن آف دس فارمیٹ ول کیپس یو اپڈیٹیڈ دیٹ ہاؤ مچ ویلیو ایڈی ٹیکس پیبل اور ریسیویبل from the government so let's start creating this format in excel this is our excel sheet we need to define first the columns how many columns we need to use in this format serial number date of invoice here we will be having particulars after that voucher number amount VAT rate and VAT amount net value of invoice now we will format it merge center and here merge and center here value added tax calculation for the first quarter of 2021 okay here wet output or the sales wet let's move further now suppose we have in first quarter three invoices sales invoices date 1 one 1 2021 1 2 2021 1 3 2021 every month we have only one one invoices if you have more invoices you can go on further no problem particulars we need to write here sales to abc company sales to x y z company sales to t y u company you need to mention here your client name to whom you are selling so when the audit of the value added tax will come so you will retrieve the data easily so voucher number you need to mention here when you are posting your sales invoice there is the system always generate a voucher number so you need to mention here a voucher number like jv 21001 we can copy this as a example so the amount of this invoice you can see 100000 this 200000 this 300000 okay we will make comma okay where trade is 15% in saudi arabia so we are going to put here 15% if in your country it is 5% you can use the 5% so what amount on sales this value multiply by this value we will drag it down net value of the invoice this value plus this value okay now we need here a total total column here auto sum copy and paste here so this is the wet on sales now the zero rated wet on export wet on export this wet is also on sales but wet on export is zero rated when we are going to submit our vat return we need to mention this value there so that will be zero rated here we have like two invoices two exports the first one was in january like 51 2021 the second one was 53 2021 okay sales to xxx the company name to whom you export the voucher number you created when you made the sales you can mention here the voucher number 
here you can mention the amount the invoice value the total invoice value the net invoice value that will be suppose you made 100000 here you make 50000 so this is your export value of the invoice though zero rated will be applied 0% on the sales here we will copy this and we can paste here the formula so wet amount will be zero if we multiply by zero percent so it is zero so the net invoice of this will be the same amount of this invoice now we will copy this total and we will paste here insert copied cell we will adjust the totals okay now here we have VAT output on sales and VAT on export. So now we need to make here the total of grand total. Grand total of VAT output sales. So this will be this value plus this value copy and paste here copy and paste here so this is the grand total of our output VAT now we need to create here the value added tax uh, like input VAT we will copy this format okay as it is and we are going to insert copied cell okay here VAT output we will change the heading here VAT input purchase VAT when we are purchasing or spending any money we are paying VAT on each and every invoice so here we will be having a purchase VAT the dates we don't want to change here so here purchase goods from XYZ company so on uh, whatever you have done here purchase or any expense you made you need to mention here here if you have paid cash you can see PV voucher by 2021 if you may payment made by bank BPV so the voucher number you need to mention here all the voucher numbers suppose the invoice value here when we purchase the good is 25,000 50,000, 75,000. So 15% VAT we have paid on these invoices. So the net value of the invoice, this amount. So the totals are here. This total for these invoices. And here the value added tax we have paid VAT input. And here the net value of the invoice, which we have already paid. So here VAT on import. The VAT on import is 15 percent this is not exempted as per you can see here on export it was exempted as zero percent so here we have here custom wet with the voucher number we need we can change the dates here this is just an example so you can change the date as per your imports here the voucher number you paid cpv 2021 one or whatever here the custom duty that how much VAT they charged like the invoice value was 25,000 and here 50,000 so 15 percent they charge so on the custom they charge 3,750 here on the custom VAT here they charge 15% on 50,000 invoice so here the VAT is here so this is the total custom amount here the total of these values now we need to calculate the VAT payable grand total of VAT input on purchases okay now here net VAT payable we are going to calculate net payable VAT will be VAT output the grand total VAT output minus 
VAT input. So this is the payable amount which we need to pay to the government when we will submit our VAT returns. Let's decrease a little bit and you will see the total, the complete format. This is VAT input related and this is VAT output related. this we can make it red this we can make it green so we can distinguish between both of them so this is the net weight payable the difference between both of them this money we already have paid to the government and this money we need to pay this is the received amount from our client so this money minus this money it means the net weight payable amount to the government is 56,250 this is a very easy format so which you can create yourself in your system so every time you need to submit VAT or you, you want to see that how much is payable or receivable from the government so you can go to this format and immediately you can see the value here automatically whatever the changes you will add or delete it will not affect the format so this is what I have for today guys I hope you like our today's video and understand the concept of this format Please subscribe our channel, it keeps motivated us to create more videos for you. Thank you very much and goodbye.